Hey everybody, it's Courtney again with Scrap2.blogspot or Kinsey Bird Creations. I um, just kind of want to show you how to make this cute little mummy card that I made. My little take on it. So basically all I did was I took a scrap piece of paper that I had and I used black. You can use whatever color you want, but I used black because that's what I had. It is actually, I cut it into um, three and a half by five and a half, so three and a half inches wide by five and a half inches tall, and I cut that down. Well, then I took some cream paper, because to me that's mummy-ish, and I cut it into different strips. Now, my strips are not uniform at all. They're all different directions, all different zigzags. I just placed them in the order that I wanted them and the way that I thought fit best. Now, each little piece, I took my little sponge dauber, and I took, close to my heart, um, cocoa ink. And I used that to daub around all the edges. Now I took it around all four edges of each individual little piece to give me that little worn antique look that I have. Um, this card was really basic to make. I mean, you can make it with just scraps that you have. You don't even have to have anything. The only thing that I suggest that you might want to have to do it would be your little um, the one inch um, circle punch. And that's how I got my eyes and my mouth on my cut. So it's super easy. I've actually got a couple of, um, pieces already cut out. I'm just going to show you how I did them. So I just cut out two circles for the eyes. Now I cut them out in white. Here I have them in black just to show you so they'll stand out. Um, I cut them out in white. And then I took um, a third circle, like so, scored it in half or just folded it in half, and then I cut it. Now that right there will give you your eyelids that I have. So I just stuck those on top to kind of give you your eye shape. Now for the next piece, I did use my Cricut cutter. Um, I actually used my um, trusty Create a Critter cartridge. And I took from page 27, it's the accessory function, it's the shift key, but it's the bow to the present. And I used it in black just to give me her cute little eyelashes. Now, you don't have to have put eyelashes, but this card is for my little girl. She's very girly, so I wanted to make it really girly. So I cut those out. Well, I took, I don't know if you can notice on this picture because it's really small, it has like a little ribbon down below it. So I took that ribbon and I cut it off and I stuck it right here on the eye just to give it a little bit more dimension. So that's one cut for my eyelash and my little dimension on my eyelid. Okay? So next, I just had two pink hearts um, left over from a previous um, cut that I had made, another card that I made, and I used it for its little eyes. Again, my daughter's really girly. I had pink eyes, so I made them as pink. Um, and I just added two little black dots with um, my little Sharpie pen that they have. absolutely love these. recommend these highly. Um, and I took that to put those little circles. Well, now the next thing that I did, I just took my scraps from where I cut out my circle, um, took it in the brown, which is what I did the eyelid with, and I took it, and it looks like this before I cut it down. So here's before, and all I did was basically cut the top of it off, stand it up here next to each other so you can kind of get an idea of what I did. I just basically cut it straight across, and that gave me my mouth. Um, I just took my little Sharpie pen and did like a little X, and then I did like faux stitching around her little mouth here. It's kind of hard to pick up that detail um, with my camera, but it's super cute. And then you just take, if you want it to be girly like I did, I just took some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. It has wire in it, so it's a little bit harder to work with, but I wanted the pink polka dot. I love it. And so I just looped it up into a little bow. I'm not a very good bow maker. <laughs> um, needless to say, that took me a little while. took me the longest on this card at all. And I just stuck it in with a little brad. And on the back, I'm just going to put a cute little message that says, Mummy loves you. So I took a Halloween card and turned it into a super cute, girly Valentine's Day card. So I hope you enjoy. Again, you can check out my blog, www.scr.
R A P T T O O dot blogspot dot com. Um, or you can Google and it's Kinsey Bird Creations. So hope you enjoy. Thanks.